The countdown to kickoff is underway as Virginia Tech gets set to begin the 2023 football season in less than a month. Yeah, the Hokies just finishing up day two of preseason camp. We want to go live to WFXR's David de Guzman, who joins us from the team's practice facility. Well, David, how does the team look? Hey, Kathleen and Drew. I mean, the, the team looked pretty good, a lot of energy, although Coach Pry did mention that the energy was actually better on day one. But, you know, one guy who probably knows a lot about this team and how they're doing in preseason camp is this guy, defensive coordinator Chris Marv. Chris, thank you for taking the time. Um, the energy from the first couple of days, how is that? Because it's always about, you know, setting the tone for the rest of the season. Well, I'll tell you what, David, it's been a long off season, And so our, our young men have been working tremendously hard. They have been putting their nose to the grindstone and have been really excited and enthusiastic about this next phase of preparation. And so you can tell on the first couple of days that um, they're just happy to be back. They're happy to have the fellowship with one another on the field, um, to play football again, and just to represent this university in a really positive way. The defensive unit, like any unit, mix of old and new faces. You guys did lose a couple of pieces like Dax Hollyfield. Yeah. How do you build that competition and depth over the next few weeks? It's all about the standard that you set, right? Um, the, everybody knows here that um, our standard is excellence. And in every aspect, we try to approach it with that, with that behavior and also approach it with that mindset on, from a level of consistency that's, that has never been seen before. So even though we've lost some really talented players with a ton of experience, with a ton of production, we know that the next man is up as long as uh, he's fulfilling that standard. Well, Chris, there's a lot of Hokie fans watching, obviously, and they're all getting ready for that September 2nd battle against ODU. Why should fans be super excited about year two under the Brent Pry era? I think year two of any program, um, especially with the way that we've been working, um, there's, a, there's a significant level of maturity, of understanding and comprehension, and, and the way that you can deploy your troops um, and, and execute at a really high level. So I think the fans should be excited of how the kids have worked this offseason and how they want to represent our community. Well, we're looking forward to it. Enter Sandman in just a few weeks. be super exciting. Chris Marv, defensive coordinator, thank you, thank you for joining us. We're going to send it back over to you in the studio.